Hello and welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology Private Tutoring YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. In today's lesson, we are going to learn more about Goldschmidt classification of elements. Goldschmidt created four classifications for the elements based on their associations with iron, silica, and sulfur, the three main environments available to them in the early Earth. These elements are lithophile, siderophile, chacophile, and atmophile. Lithophile are rock-loving or silica-loving elements. They are elements like sodium and potassium, those elements that are easily incorporated into the silicate structures produced by silicon and oxygen. As massive amounts of silica migrated upward to the surface, sodium, potassium, and other elements that do not interact favorably with iron made their way upward along with the silica. This brought to the surface large quantities of useful elements like aluminium, neodymium, and even uranium. Siderophiles are iron-loving elements. They are dense metallic elements that can bond and interact strongly with iron. Examples of these include platinum and iridium. As the Earth's huge quantities of iron sank to the core, the iron took along with other elements that interact favorably with the iron. These elements are scarce at the surface of the planet, yet they are thought to be very common deep within the core where humans cannot reach them. Calcophiles literally mean sulfur-loving elements. They include elements like silver and Copper, which are easily combined with sulfur and other group 16 elements to form ionic compounds. The smaller amounts of sulfur were enough to help pull up the sulfur-loving elements like copper, silver, zinc, and cadmium and depositing them near the surface. Atmophiles hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and most notably, the noble gases. Atmophiles literally means vapor-loving elements. These elements prefer to stay in the gas phase, which leaves many of these elements to escape into the atmosphere and in some cases, even completely dissipate into space. Atmophiles are the spectators in the game. They tend to be lighter elements which combined in the early atmosphere to make water, methane, nitrogen gas, and ammonia. 